The pay's not much, but the discounts on the training flights help. You have now given like 200% more floor to this than the game does, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this has got to be our, our way out. Painting of a flying single engine plane. Hmm, this was a painting hanging in Colin's attic in the present day. Okay, so we've just noted that it exists. I guess we'll head up here first. This seems more finite. And it's because there's nothing in here. That's fine, that's fine. I appreciate the veracity in you making like a break room. You actually exist. Barry? Who the hell is Barry? Ugh, give me my fix, you stupid thing. Why do I never learn? What we're learning is do is a massive thief, apparently. Not a good one, but a regular one. Birds and paintings. I maybe should have seen a psychologist at, at some point. Could have helped. Barreled. I don't think it's barreled blue jeans. What in the world is that? Just leaving something for the class. Maybe the head should have been smaller for aerodynamics sake. Who cares? It's got extra propulsion coming out of its butt. Physics. I mean, he's not even wearing blue jeans, it can't be. Okay, please just give me a memory and let me continue. There are airplanes outside. I bet this is where they dispatch them. That's definitely how planes work. Do you have any proof that it isn't Barrel J blue jeans? He's not wearing blue jeans! Like, can't be. I'm sorry. We do offer flight training and you do meet the requirements, but it's costly. Is there any other way at all? Well, that's not up to me to say, but why don't you check with the owner? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but if this guy manages to gumption his way into flight school, I am going to be so hecking mad. When was this? Was this the 70s? Did he borrow his father's suit jacket and go out and just ask for what he wanted until the world gave it to him? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Also, aren't the age limits like kid can't drive a car? Are they really gonna let him drive an airplane? For s like, I don't know where I got this information from, but it is in my head that the limits for flight school are actually like lower like depends on the aircraft but i think if you're just flying like the, the shitty little you know what are they cessnas and stuff like i think you can start learning at a pretty young age probably not like literally nine that seems a bit young but i think it's like young he probably committed fraud that's how the 70s worked right i mean but still, I'm so mad. The... The owner? Of the entire airport? Private pilot license for planes is 17. Okay, I was wrong. Yep, it's his family-owned airport. Just your average mom-and-pop family business. His office is at the other side of the hall. Did you hear that? It's family owned. What does that mean? It means that it's owned by a family, duh. Helping. And also that it's probably mafia. Yes, okay. Pilots can begin training at any age and can solo balloons and gliders from age 14 and powered aircraft from age 16. Okay, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I knew it. But yeah. Yeah. 
Mafia. Uh, what Mafia? And I'm behind you, you know. Yeah, just like in The Godfather. Let's go visit. W what? Okay, so the movie is relevant as well. And sell any cans. Okay. Definitely. Well, I would really like to get back there and use their phone. Can't get to the planes. Let's complete this memory. But yeah, I forget where I learned that, but if you have the money, you can learn to fly a plane. Godfather theme playing in the background. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not doing the Godfather voice. I, I can't. So, you're the kid they told me about. Well, Face, Deadly Doodles, hey, it's been a while. Um, yes, we have face cam now. Dapper suit. Can't argue with that. They can't even distinguish between reality and movies. I mean, well. This is why nine-year-olds should not be allowed to fly. Look, sir, I don't want any trouble. I hope that- I, I have no idea, like, my preview for the stream is all the way over here so I have to turn and look at it so I don't know if that violin gesture came through, but I hope that violin gesture came through. Of course you don't, son. There's word out on the street that you want to become a pilot. It did. I'm glad. Do actual humans say that line? Word on the street? I don't think anybody real has ever said anything about word on the street. Y yes sir. That you have no experience. No sir. No background. No. And you have no money. Uh, I don't, sir. Something terrible happens to Faye, and Colin gets money as a result. I think it's restricted to mob bosses only. I mean, it's not even true. Word from my secretary in the airport? Look, this guy obviously has a thing going. If it means that his secretary is the word on the street, then... I'm not kink-shaming. I'm kink-shaming a little bit. Yet you come here on the day of my own daughter's flight exam. This is causing me physical pain. To request my hospitality. To make use of my facility without an offer. Do you disrespect me and my family's airport? Psst. Tell him you've got strong arms and can help out around the airport. Gumption! Um, I got reasonably strong arms. This is causing us all physical pain. I'm so glad I'm not alone for this. Oh. Are you saying you're up for work? Yes, you are. Y yeah, I am. Hmm. Interesting proposal. He's not, like, aren't there child labor laws? Maybe he's not nine. Maybe he's like 15 by this point, but he's nine. Nine-year-olds are weaklings? Aren't nine-year-olds like this? Can't. There we go. We're on camera now. This tall. They devo move cocaine through this airport, right? Right, okay, he's a mule, we got it. It's true. There have been a few positions opening up recently. Perhaps we could use a hand. Very well. Your offer? End me. 
and we just I, I I've never actually seen The Godfather and I'm still full cringe I would play that game where Colin ends up as a cocaine mule to earn flight lessons that sounds more interesting I have to say like Okay, I'm ragging on this game a lot. I don't hate it. It's pretty good. But it's also just... begging to be ragged on. Your offer is one I won't refuse. Another amaretto sour, Ricardo. And hold the amaretto. He didn't hold the amaretto. There's, there's a cherry there. So maybe he held the amaretto liquor. But there's a cherry in there. The cherry flavor is still there. Maybe it likes getting ragged on. Maybe that's its kink. I'm still kink shaming. Some parts of this game are not pretty good. I think the thing is that even the parts of the game that are not pretty good, like, it has its own identity and its own personality, and I can appreciate that no matter how much it makes me cringe. I don't even drink and that's not like a thing. Yeah, it's just... It's... It's not gonna be nice, I can tell you that much. And like, it looks like a full glass of the, the stuff with just a cherry on top, and that's, that's not gonna be pleasant. Kid, you work for me now. And with the earnings, you shall pay for your training. One flight at a time. You're gonna be being paid like two dollars an hour because you're nine, but... Quick, thank him and step back. Thank you for your kindness, sir. See? You did it. Gumption! I'm never going to be, like, not sarcastic about that. Oh, wait a minute. All that's happened is that I just applied for a job. Shh. You're practically the underboss now. So like he works for five years to earn a flight lesson? That seems about right. And so, uh... Assuming exaggeration of memories... Is this like racist to Italians? I can't tell. Italian isn't a race, Neil. But he does seem to have a tendency for getting creative with his memories. Are you saying applying for a job isn't an accomplishment? Applying for a job is a huge accomplishment, and I will never take away from that. Like, that's tough. But the, just go up to someone and ask them for a job, is bullshit, and that's what I'm angry about. Behind every successful man is a woman who knew what the fuck was going on. Can't argue. Hey, maybe that's just what he gets for watching that movie when he's eight. Anyway. Let's see if the Dawn has anything for us. Okay, so you must have our, our... Our teleport? Is it the drink? An amaretto sour drink without the amaretto. That's our memento! You know... I'm done! I'm done questioning the game. From here on out, I am wholeheartedly in. I will take everything this game will throw at me and I will... I will roll with it! my god. I'm not rolling with it. This is an excellent argument for restricting kids' TV choices. Are there any, like, three in a row? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put that up, then turn that over. I can't send that that way, which is super annoying. If I just rotate this through, yep, and we're good. Oh my god, he probably got terrible taste in alcohol from this experience! That's true. That is... like... a last... <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! That lasted like half a second lot. I genuinely tried. I did not try. Narrator, she did not try. Oh yeah, 214. I can feel my throat just getting a bit scratchy, so I might just quickly run to the kitchen and refill my drink. I'll be back in two seconds. Please enjoy this jaunty music for just a moment.
Okay, thank you for holding. I am back. That was like over an hour of not being. That's an eternity. I, I can relate to that. Oh, uh, let's switch back to the game. Here we are. Oh, sorry, let me fix my hair. It annoys me when it's tucked behind the headphones. Okay, we're good. Finally, some tropical air. Okay, we're getting, getting close to the middle. I'm curious. Oh no, he did get the terrible tasted alcohol. Logic. Your prediction was correct. Horribly so. There you go, sir. Your amaretto sour. Hold the amaretto. Thanks. Just the way I like it. Oh, maybe this is their first date. And for you, lady, your amaretto sour. Hold the sour. Aw, together they make an actual drink. Why, thank you. I didn't know you guys make this. I mean, looks like a fancy place. I'm pretty sure they can mix you a drink. Oh my god, it's literally just lemon juice. Are you gonna be able to handle all that lemon juice? It's an old favorite. Okay, see, her taste is legit. I disagree with that. Amaretto is terrible, I'm sorry. We're actually here. You've wanted to visit for a long time now, haven't you? Oh, together they make an actual drink. Ash with romance. Yeah, although, um... The thing that it actually reminded me of, just to digress for a bit, real life stories, um... So I'm on the keto diet, which for me basically means that I eat a lot of meat and cheese. Uh, and my best friend is a vegetarian. Um, so whenever we go out to restaurants together, uh, I have to order a burger minus the bun. And I also get like minus pickles and, and so forth just because I don't like pickles. Don't hurt me. They're terrible. But she gets just the bun and the salad and a shit ton of pickles because she loves pickles and one day I was just like together we make a whole burger and like if that's not best friendship I do not know what is it's better than lemon juice alcohol is terrible I used to be in the alcohol is terrible camp but I've like killed off enough of my taste buds now that I'm some alcohol is okay camp but yeah that was just my cute together we make a whole food story Moving on. Okay, that's adorable. Thank you. I'm so glad that other people than me think that. Is it everything you dreamed it would be? I'm with best friend on the pickles business. I, I, I just, I can't. They're too strong. Well, when you've got expectations. But yes, it's still beautiful. You're all pickles, people? You... Okay, no, you know what? I can't deride you for that. Because it means I have people I can pick the pickles off my stuff from and give them to. And we both win. That's a good thing. I'm looking at this as a good thing. Our differences are what bring us together. How about you, though? Hmm? You know... Spending half our savings on a delayed honeymoon and all that. Hey, now's not the time to think like that. Oh yeah, like Thai. Thai doesn't like tomatoes. I also don't like tomatoes. Started to like desensitize myself to them a bit now that I can't eat them, of course. Um, but I can, I can handle cooked tomatoes and like a little bit of fresh tomato and something like pico de gallo. Because pico de gallo is delicious. Which is great because more tomatoes meet. See, this is the symbiosis we all need in our lives. People who who find completion in each other. I, I can't keep bullshitting like this, I'm sorry. That is not how you talk about your honeymoon while on your honeymoon. Financial responsibility is romantic. I'm really trying here. We'll bounce back up. I got quite a few gigs waiting when we get back. 
Not to mention your new job, Mr. Airline Pilot. Don't jinx it. It might still be a while until I start with the company. Besides, the pay's not gonna be good for a while. Hey, as long as you get to wear the cool shades. That's cute. That's cute. Okay, I'll give it that. I talked with Maria last week. We got the flexible hours arranged. It's not responsibility if you're just bitching about how much it cost. Fair. That is pretty annoying. So, we're ready, huh? Yeah. As ready as we're gonna be. It's our honeymoon! Let's have a kid! This game gets no more slack from me. You know, this might be the last trip like this we'll have in a long time. Huh. We'll make the little bastard pay for all the vacations we missed one day. Healthy attitudes to go into child rearing with. Exhibit A. Wait, they had a honeymoon after getting pregnant? I think that they're talking about getting pregnant now. In the meantime... All the more reason to enjoy the rest of it. Here's to the rest of it. Yeah, here's... Shit. Let the character swear. Let the characters... Let the character swear. Shit, 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 shit. Samaria's fella. Regret sloppy start. That, that's just like... <laughs> That's not even a notable incident. You don't work out flexible hours before getting pregnant, though. Like, you can't just be like, let's get pregnant and then go... Yeah, no, that... Look, Logic, do you really think that they put any re any research into this at all? Like, at all? I don't, I don't think they did. Okay. So that's our teleport. And it doesn't look like we can really... Can I move? Is there more down- okay, there's more down this way. This has got to be- no, the aquarium's not a thing. Wow, that seems redundant. Oh, colour shift. I was just- did you go fishing for those marshmallows? What is this honeymoon? Okay, that was a cute twirl. Come on, Colin, the water's not that cold. Okay. Those marshmallows are totally gonna get overcooked. Great game. Okay, nothing new from you. Let's keep going. Are these beach chairs made out of solid rock? Everyone knows that the best marshmallows grow in the ocean? Like, can't argue. Don't know enough about- okay, that's a lie. I know everything about marshmallows. Weird skill sets. Okay, let's head left. Doesn't look like there's anything to the left. Let's head right. There had better be at least three memories in here. I am just saying. Blank piece of paper. Looks like he's about to lay down some rhymes. Why? Why? What's... just... why? Why? Can I turn on the lamp? I cannot. Can I look at the floor? I cannot, even though it's super cool. A faded painting of Bora Bora. Fucking hibiscus! Which still doesn't grow like this! That hibiscus. This is more of a suitable place for that kind of flower. That's literally the only thing that Michigan is better at than California. Opportunities for marshmallow roasting. I miss marshmallows. Like, just in general. Yeah, on. Examine this. Last memory. Here. You still awake? I'm guessing from the Zeds that that's a no. Told you lemon juice is the way to go. Did they go to Bora Bora for their honeymoon because it was the photo at the flight school? Like, it seems likely. 
Colin seems to have these things, like, overly affect him. Oh god, my stomach is growling. I'm so sorry if you all can hear that. I have no idea how sensitive the mic is. Yay, backtracking. Are you going to address this issue? Or are you just going to mock us for feeling pain? At least it's a beach. She had one drink, man. She's just avoiding you. Well, sure puts a crimp in the getting pregnant idea. Oh, cool. The reflection of the moon in the water is cool. It's also, like, way too large, but... I'll make allowances. I don't know about the mic, but my speakers aren't that sensitive. Okay, good. Ugh. I actually had to get up early and go to the shops today if I wanted something to sustain myself with, but, like, I did that. And I, I bought a chocolate bar for breakfast, like, one that is me-friendly, but still it's really not keeping me as sustained through this stream as I would hope oh shit this is weird some triggers change the memory lanes themselves okay well okay so yep gotcha let's do one of those I can't send any of them up or down though Okay, so I need that to be an up. I getcha, I getcha. Um, just swap that over. Swap that over. Now make this an up. And then, off we go. Oh god damn it, that's not the one I need. What's the one I need then? Oh well, do that. Uh, yeah, no. Um, bleb 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 bleb. Okay, so if we just... I think if I change that back to an up at this point, it'll... Okay, no, that puts it back over there, which is super annoying. Oh, duh, duh. And we're good. We are good. We did this. Ah, oh, she should eat. Eating is good. I'm doing my best. It's just food is so expensive and so annoying. Should also eat. I'm so sick of eating. I feel you. If Nutella ads have taught me anything, is that you want a food with a low GI index to release energy slowly throughout the day. Stop filing slowly for the postpartum breastfeeding period. That seems like a good idea. I have like a whole bunch of protein shake mix in the cupboard, but I hate the texture of like any meal drink. I don't like thick drinks. It's just not enjoyable. Ash, Rag, welcome! You found me, it's true! We are getting back on the streaming schedule for the new year. Even milkshakes? I don't like milkshakes. I don't like milk, in general, so... I know, I'm a weirdo. 